set. Oh, that didn't work quite as planned. here. I just dug this target that I had started on and never finished out from the backyard. We had done some shooting at it and I just never finished it. So I've got five AR-500 armor plate targets on there on hinges. They're actually slightly tilted down, not at a 90 degree. That way if you're shooting fairly close range with a handgun, you have less chance of getting uh, lead splatter when the bullet hits it. So what happens is they fall over and then I don't have a reset on it right now. I do have the reset bar. I am going to replace this reset bar. You can see it took a couple of rounds. And I'm, a few of the things I'm doing are replacing that. Right now I'm going to a family reunion in probably a week's time. And I want to take this with me. So what I'm going to do is just add a bar here with a, with a rope. And then you'll be able to pull it and reset it. I don't need all this adjustability on the legs. And that actually makes it really wobbly. So what I'm going to do is cut this right here. I'm going to take the all thread out and weld another piece of one inch in there. Weld it up rigid. I'm going to do that all the way around. Hey, I'm busy here. Yeah, I'm busy here. Kind of busy. I'm going to replace... Shh! Stop! I'm going to go ahead and replace this. This is three-quarter. I'm going to move that up, up there, one of these bars up there, and replace it with a one inch, and I'm going to weld it in across here instead of bolting it. I had originally made it where I was going to be able to take it apart, and that's just not going to be something I'm going to do. So I'm going to redo it, make it stronger, and then I'm also going to weld in a bar on each side across here to strengthen it up. So that's all I'm going to do before my next um, party with it, where we're going to use it. After we use it at that um, get-together, I'm going to be excited to get back to the automated part of it with the windshield wiper motor. I'm going to work on the linkages some more and also get my um, remote start hooked up. That would be pretty exciting to get that done, but for now, I just want to shoot some steel. So we're going to just try to get a manual reset. I also picked up this 3-inch piece of angle iron that's going to mount on the front here. It's just going to bolt on so that you can replace it when you need to when it gets shot up too bad. What it's going to do is it's going to set right here, and it's going to protect back here where the hinges are and where the plates bolt on. And it's also going to protect the uh, reset mechanism somewhat. So we won't have any more of these shots here where it's all bent up. And then once it gets shot up pretty bad, you can just pull it off and throw another one on. So I, this rope isn't the best for the reset rope because it stretches too much. Well, you can see how it works. You pull on it. Oop, move that out of the way. The plates fall on it like that. And then you, when you pull on the rope, it stands it up like so. And then that angle iron is just some weight that should help it fall back down after you pull it and make it ready to shoot again. That's all there is to it. Sorry to it's it. a little windy, but I'm out here today with the target so I thought I'd show you. It's all welded up on the bottom and braced. 
I got rid of the all thread here. It's not quite on even ground, but it's pretty sturdy. I just bent the reset mechanism on purpose over here. It should still work just fine. What I wanted to do was get the rope away from the target because it was lined up pretty close to it and a stray shot to the right of this target could destroy this rope. The target works great. The bar, you can see the bar here is protected against some low shots. Um, some of these probably would have taken out the reset bar back there. I'm sure some of them would have hit the bolts and ruined the bolts probably on the targets themselves. Uh, the only thing I don't like, I think it is a little bit low. I just kind of tacked it on here. I didn't bolt it like I was planning. Um, I think I will cut this at some point and set it on top of my pieces here and that will give me a little more height and it should protect a little bit more up here because you want, only want to be hitting your target up here. You don't want to be hitting way down here anyway. I'm all set up to shoot. I'm under 50 yards away. Probably between, probably at least 30 yards away. Just a good spot I have to set so I'm going to set right here. What we're going to be knocking them down with today is a Palmetto State Armory AR-15 that I built. It's in 300 blackout, suppressed, with a Vortex Diamondback scope on it, 3 to 9 power. I'm going to go ahead and sign off the video by knocking them down for you.